Let's solve this equation for z. Let's go ahead and multiply through by the LCD so that once I simplify, I no longer have fractions. What's the least common denominator with denominators of 9 and 6? That is 18. Now be careful, that means we multiply every single term in this equation, and here's where a common mistake is made. We must multiply this 1 by 18, and then also 18 times 2z plus 1 over 6, and that is a multiplication sign there. So every single term must be multiplied by 18. 9 divides into 18 2 times, so I have 2 times parentheses, z plus 7 plus 18 times 1 is 18 is equal to 6 divides into 18 3 times, and I have 3 times parentheses, 2z plus 1. Makes it a much nicer looking equation. Now let's go ahead and use the distributive property. That's 2z plus 14. 2 times 7 is 14, plus 18 is equal to distributive property again, 3 times 2z, that's 6z, plus 3 times 1 is 3. Can I simplify on the left side or the right side? The answer is yes. On the left side, I have 2z plus 14 and 18, that is 32 is equal to 6z plus 3. Now, it makes no difference what you do. This is a linear equation. You can move z's to the left, numbers to the right, or z's to the right, numbers to the left. I just have that old habit of moving z's or variables to the left. So I have 2z minus 6z. If I subtract 6z from both sides, I have negative 4z plus 32 is equal to 3. And then if I subtract 32 from both sides, I have negative 4z is equal to 3 minus 32, and that is negative 29. How do we finish solving? Divide both sides by the coefficient of z, which is negative 4. I'm going to go ahead for space purposes and write it like that. And then I do have z. Negative divided by negative is positive. z is 29 over 4. And that is my solution. So the solution set is a set containing 29 over 4. Don't forget, I don't need to worry about my denominators in my original equation. I had no variables in those denominators. So here's my solution.